Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest 4. We're in the middle of chapter 3 right now, and we just finished up the quest to get the Silver Statuette. So now we're going to sell this, make some money, and we're going to open up shop. Let's go claim our prize and find a scholar who wanted this, this man. Yeah, that's right. No, bro. Damn it. Just kidding. Alright. Gives you 25 dude, for it. However, we need 35 grand. So, what we're gonna do is go to Valley, uh, Valley Moral, Bon Malmo. This be called Bon Malmo. We're gonna head north. I think I'm out of wings, so we're gonna make this trek. I got my two buddies here. And we're gonna start selling our armor to the people who buy the armor here. They'll give you a better price for it if you come here. Just armor them, not weapon. That's right. Okay. So we're going to sell our armor. However, you don't want to sell the half plate armors. Anything else, full plate's fine. You need the half plates for later. Later on in this chapter. So yeah, you can give him get money for it. Now, if I remember correctly, this guy varies every time you prompt him. So let's see. Alright, normally it would sell for 900G, but we do 14, 16, but watch, try again, and I'm pretty sure it changes. Yeah, so if you want to do it a few times, get the best you can out of it. Nine, that's, that's a pretty big swing, so I'll take the 1900 and, and say that's good. Alright, so he doesn't want the, uh, anything else. Okay, so that's all we want here. See, so only buys armor. One sec, though. Oh, I have another armor. Just kidding. Let's sell another one. What we need to do now is get enough money so we can sell, or we can buy the shop. All right, so we got one more armor. No. Now thirteen hundred. More like 1900. 2100! Booyah, Grandma! Alright, so we sold that. And now we all, all we gotta do is sell one weapon. We should be at 35 grand. That's enough to buy the shop, so let's uh, talk to this guy, see what he's gonna offer us. They're all gonna offer the same. Let's see, Iron Lands. Do we have the Holy Lands? Yeah. So you wanna keep your. I guess I want to keep your steel broadsword now. Okay, get the Holy Lands. Nobody can use it. I mean, you could keep it, but it's not really worth it. I just want to sell this land, too. I mean, they're all just random drops at this point. Poor Nico, as you can tell, a very high drop rate. Alright, so we're almost there. Um, basically, I'm going to fight a few battles in the next drop of sell, and I'll be at 35 grand, because I have. 34,800 right now, so I'm really close. So let's fight a few battles. Around this area. Got my mercenaries on me. Slay left and right. Boom, iron armor. That's all it is. I could tell for more, but I'm lazy. I really don't care. So I'm gonna sell this. Yeah, 30, 35 grand. Alright, so we're good to go. Now we're going to head to the west of town. And we're going to buy this shop. Taking over this business. Alright, talk to this guy. Yeah, we talked to him before. And he's like, yeah, I'll just sell it for 35 more. Bam! Put it on the table. 35 grand. Yeah, that's right. Mom. We're gonna move our family, relocate, you no know, commute because I live in my my shop. Formigo is now a member of Endor. I got my hot ass wife, my awesome kid. Alright, so we're good. You gotta go tell the king that you are the new proud owner of a shop. But now he's gonna make you do a quest where you have to go out and get the broadsword and the armors. Let's 
this all come? What's up, Kang? That's right. Now we gotta go talk to the guy down there. Alright, so this is one of my big mistakes. Apparently you're not supposed to sell iron armors because you need them. But it's not a big deal. Alright, so I only have one steel saw broadsword. Alright. See what happened was in Dragon Warrior 4, they were called half plate armors, not iron armors. So I thought you could sell them. But no big deal. All you gotta do is go outside. And I'm pretty sure now the drop rates for those two things skyrocket. So now you just fight battles until you get six broadswords and then six iron armors. So I'm gonna pause it at this point and I'm just gonna battle dudes around here until I have six full. So Alright, welcome back. Now we have enough armor and weapons just to go to the guy and finish up this quest. A few of the things I did was I trained outside for a while and I'm getting a broadsword. You'll notice quickly that you get more broadswords than armors, but you can buy the armors from the shop in the town. So it's easier to just raise some money and buy the, some of the armors because you'll get some of the drops, but they're rarer than the broadswords. Alright, so we got 60, 60 thousand dollars. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna take a trip back and I'm gonna show you about the shop, your new shop, how it works. I used it to get some cash. So basically all you do is you come in and you talk to your boy. What you can do is you can give her items to sell. Say I want to sell my wicker clothes. And you see here it's 52 G. But if you sell it to her, or tell her to sell it, she'll sell it for like more than it actually costs in the store. So you can make money very fast. Um, so that's what I did, and that's what we need to do from now on. Because the next step is we have to raise 100,000 G in order to get to uh, build the tunnel that to the right. Let's actually take a trip there. What the hell? Okay, he's out. As you can see, Hardy. I bought Hardy again, even though uh, the other one ran out. Full. So I bought Hardy twice. He is useful. Right, so this guy. I want to excavate the tunnel, but he needs a lot of money. 60 grand? Just kidding, we have 60 grand. We're gonna give him 60 grand. Alright, so he's gonna excavate. Is that it? I'm sorry, people. In the old game, it was 100 grand. But yeah, the people are working. I'm pretty sure now if you just go and rest for the night. And you come back. So let's go take a rest. <laughs> Pretty sketchy, Tornico. Alright, so let's go home. I think mean, you might have to say goodbye, actually. You know, it's opened up. Come on, let me go to sleep. Maybe I have to go down there? Eh, I don't think so. But, what shot? See if Ragnar's still there? I don't think he would be left by now. I don't know why Ragnar would be in a casino with the hero anyway. Alright. Oh, that's it. Okay. So all you have to do is step down here. Then you go and leave. And now if you head home, you'll be able to just be like, I'm leaving the edge. That's right, tunnel finished. Yep, I'm leaving. Got more women to chase. Time to borrow tunnel Nico. Okay. I'm gonna go high five my son and then we're gonna get out of the cell. Alright, so this is it. We're gonna leave town. Head back here one last time. Paved and everything, and people are walking, and I'm done. So that's it, that's the end of chapter 3, and Tornico goes out and sets out for 
legendary weapon, of course, and to be the best merchant. That's the end of chapter 3. We will see you next time in chapter 4 in Dragon Quest 4.